HR pros have a lot on their plates and dates are just one of the many responsibilities you can't afford to miss. That's why this year I've decided to begin each month with an HR FAQ devoted to important dates, holidays, and compliance deadlines for that month. So what key dates in October does HR need to know? Let's get started. Here's a preview of upcoming dates and timely reminders, which we'll explain more in a moment. October is National Disability Employment Awareness Month. October 3rd, QSERA notice deadline and RDS application due to CMS. October 9th, Columbus Day slash Indigenous Peoples Day. October 14th, Medicare Part D notice of credible coverage delivery. October 16th, National Bosses Day. October 31st, Forms 720 and 941 due, and Halloween. National Disability Employment Awareness Month honors the contributions of workers in America with disabilities. The month of October is dedicated to supporting inclusive employment policies and practices for these workers. There is a theme each year, and 2023's theme will be Advancing Access and Equity. For more information on how to support this initiative, there is a What Can You Do campaign linked in the description. QSERA Notice Deadline QSERA is the Qualified Small Employer Health Reimbursement Arrangement, which allows employers to contribute to their employees' healthcare expenses by providing non-tax reimbursements to employees who maintain minimum essential coverage. QSERA written notices must be distributed to employees as soon as they're eligible and 90 days before the beginning of each plan year or October 3rd for plan years beginning January 1. For more information, check out what is QSERA? RDS or the Retiree Drug Subsidy provides drug coverage to the Medicare eligible retirees at a lower cost. RDS prospective plan sponsors must submit their applications for establishing a new account to CMS 90 days before the beginning of the plan year or October 3rd for plan years beginning January 1. Columbus Day slash Indigenous Peoples Day. Columbus Day is a federal holiday that commemorates the arrival of Christopher Columbus to North America in 1492. It is observed on the second Monday in October, which lands on October 9th this year. Many federal offices, including the United States Post Office and most banks will be closed. Indigenous Peoples Day is observed on the same day as Columbus Day in many states that do not celebrate Columbus Day. This day honors the experience and history of indigenous Americans and their cultures. Medicare Part D credible coverage. Delivery of Medicare Part D credible coverage notices must be sent to Medicare eligible policyholders of employer sponsored plans by October 14th. Credible coverage refers to employer sponsored prescription drug coverage that is at least as good as the subsidized Medicare Part D plan. Even if an employer's drug plan is not considered credible, they must still comply by sending a written notice to eligible individuals. For more information, check out Credible Coverage Written Notice to Medicare Eligible Individuals. National Bosses Day. October 16th is recognized as National Bosses Day, giving employees a chance to celebrate and show appreciation for their boss. Some common ways to celebrate the holiday is to get your boss a card, buy them a coffee or a gift card to their favorite restaurant, or simply just thank them for keeping you employed. Form 720 and 941 do. Form 720 is an IRS reporting document that details the amount of a business's goods and services subject to federal excise taxes. Covered businesses must file Form 720 on a quarterly basis, which makes it due on October 31st. Form 941 is the quarterly federal tax return for employers, including the amount of income, Social Security, and Medicare taxes that an employer withheld from its employees' paychecks in the previous quarter. It is also due on October 31st. For more information, check out how to complete Form 941. Halloween. Last but certainly not least, October 31st is Halloween. For the month of October, look out for weekly Halloween-themed HR Party of One episodes coming your way. We will be sharing some of our favorite HR horror stories and much more. If you have any HR horror stories to share, Tell your HR Party of One community about it by posting on our community page. Maybe we will even include them next Halloween. That's it for this HR FAQ. If you wanna learn more HR best practices, subscribe to our channel 
and ring the bell to get notifications about the latest HR Party of One and HR FAQ episodes.